What's up guys, it's Dull Matter here, and today we're gonna to be reacting to another fat electrician video. So this one is 900 sonic booms per second, the XF84H Thunder Screech. Uh, so it's another plane video. He actually, he seems to do quite a few plane videos. I think this is like the fifth one we've reacted to, and there's probably more. Um, but anyway, I, I've actually never heard of this one. I think every other one that he's done, except for the Crop Duster one, uh, I'd obviously heard of before. Most of them were like really iconic planes, right? Like we did the SR-71. I think he had one on the F-15. Um, it was just like a, like a lot of like the B-22 bomber, like a bunch of iconic planes. This one, though, I've never even heard of. Uh, so I'm going to be interested to learn about this one. Is this like a Cold War era thing? A lot of these seem to be Cold War era, uh, mostly because that's the stuff that's declassified, right? You don't really know much about current stuff. Uh, like there's there's current stuff and then there's current stuff. I, I probably shouldn't put quotations on both of those, but there's like there's the current stuff they let us know about. Much of which was like developed in the 60s and 70s, so you know it's not actually their current stuff. Uh, some of it is, as is, you know, was developed as recently as the 2000s. Um, but when it comes to like their super up to date stuff, we don't know anything. We won't for another 20 years. But anyway, link to the original video down below, and let's jump into it. Today we're talking about the loudest aircraft of all time, ladies and gentlemen, the XF84H Thunder Screech. Okay, yeah, this looks like 60s footage, 70s footage. Oh, I think I have seen this plane. Real quick, before we get too far into this, this video is brought to you by my favorite sporting goods store, Shields. They have a bunch of amazing retail locations all across the U.S., but if you don't live near any of those, they have an even better online store that I'm going to have linked down below, where they have literally anything that has anything to do with going outside, hunting gear, fishing gear, camping gear. They have it all, and I would highly recommend you go check out their site. Again, that is linked down below. Let's get back to the video. Now, this is probably one of the most hated aircrafts of all time, both by the pilots and the people that worked on it. It was unaffectionately <laughs> given the nickname of, and I quote, the mighty ear banger which is just <laughs> it's it, we need to move on <laughs> all right here's the deal once upon a time Cosby. in the 1950s the united states navy decided that they wanted a new type of carrier fighter that would be able to take off from an aircraft carrier without using the catapult you know that thing that yeets the planes off the flight deck Apparently reloading the catapult was taking too long and the Navy wanted to be able to get more planes in the air quicker to deliver on healthcare faster. Not Makes a sense. terrible goal, the only problem was jet technology at this point in time simply would not allow a jet to do this, which meant that this new fighter was going to have to be a prop driven plane like the Sky Raider. But the only problem with that was is that the Navy demanded that this new fighter had the same ability as a jet. Okay, if you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you that the Navy is about to try to make a supersonic prop driven plane. I'm going to say that again, but slow. That's, so... This thing is a prop-driven plane that is soup 900 sonic booms per second. I'm guessing that's how fast its, it's fucking little propeller goes. Lower. The United States Navy is going to try to get a plane with a propeller to try to break the sound barrier. Okay, that's like a fucking Amish guy in a boogie breaking a land speed record. They're not supposed to do that. But they're gonna try it anyways because America. So they take an F-84 Thunder Streak, they rip the jet engine out of the middle and then cram an enormous Allison T-40 engine inside of it and slap a propeller on the front. Okay. Man, I always, I always forget Allison makes like plane motors and stuff because uh, I always think of them as like farm equipment, right? They they make farm equipment. I'm pretty sure. I'm like ninety percent sure they make farm equipment. Cause like, uh... oh maybe not. Why do I know that name? I guess yeah, Allison Transmission. But okay, yeah, Allison Chalmers. I thought I thought so. Yeah, this is what I think of when I think of like Allison. But then, yeah, and like, yeah, I guess it makes sense. It's actually kind of fascinating how many companies start off as like farm equipment and then become like supercar producers or uh, military technology producers. Like probably when it comes to supercars, the two most famous have got to be like Lamborghini and uh, Ferrari in terms of like old tractor makers becoming uh, car producers. But like, it seems like it's actually a pretty common trend, which I guess when you start making shit, you know, you might as well. 
Okay, here's the deal with this engine. It is 5,850 horsepower and it doesn't have a throttle. It just runs at 100% nonstop all the time. <laughs> so the only way they were actually able to control the speed of the airplane was to change the pitch of the blades on the propeller, which you can kind of see here. There's those circles oh, that so changes the in. angle, makes the plane go faster or slower without having to change the speed of the engine. The only problem with that was is when the blades were put to max pitch to move the most air to go the fastest, it off. generated so much torque that while the propeller was going one way, the engine wanted to spin the entire plane the other way, basically <laughs> forcing the plane to do a non-stop barrel roll. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Man, that's a meme I haven't seen and in a while. And here's the thing, that wasn't even really the problem. The problem was the noise. Okay, bear with me while I try to explain this. I'm not a science teacher, but when you look at a propeller and you see the blades, the tips of the blades are traveling faster than the base of the blades because as it rotates, it has to cover a greater yeah. amount of distance in the same amount of time. Does that make sense to everybody? Yep. Good, great, okay. Here's what was happening. That For anyone that doesn't know, that's why you have like those skitty guys with long arms that can punch and it makes no sense why they punch that hard. It's because it's like a whip. Which is why I always find it funny when you like watch like boxing. I, this is, I know this is kind of like a weird aside, but I always find it funny when you watch like a boxing or MMA fight and there'll be some long lanky guy who's got crazy punching power. And people are like, I don't understand how he has so much power. He doesn't look like he's built for it. It's like, yeah, he looks exactly like he's built for it. If you're that long, there's going to be so much power on the end of that punch. That engine is turning this propeller at over 900 miles an hour, and because the tips are traveling faster than the base of the blades, the last 12 inches of the tip of each blade, so you get three blades, three tips, are all breaking the sound barrier, but the bases of those blades were not breaking the sound barrier. So each blade would create a sonic boom, back out, and then create another sonic boom almost immediately. And this was generating over 900 sonic booms per second. Oh God. Which basically sounded like one constant sonic boom to everybody involved. To give you an idea of how loud this was, it's believed that this created over 200 decibels of noise. The only thing known to mankind louder than that is the detonation of a major nuclear warhead or a volcano. Okay, this thing <laughs> was so loud that the shockwaves sent one of the engineers into a seizure. It knocked one of the... <laughs> Mike, oh my... I feel like you'd go deaf just driving this thing. Like, this would be one of those things where, like, you drive it once and you have permanent tinnitus for the rest of your life. Best case scenario. <laughs> mechanics unconscious and gave everyone anywhere near it nausea, headaches, and vomiting. It was so loud that people in the next town over 45 miles away were complaining at how loud this thing was. <laughs> and here's the part where I'm gonna upset you. I don't have any audio of it up close because it would literally destroy any microphone that got near it. The best I can give you is this, which is a recording of it from the ground as this thing is Headphone flying warning. overhead at like 30,000 feet. <laughs> This plane is uh, so fucking loud, it's almost stealthy. I mean- It actually wasn't bad. I was expecting that to be a lot worse. Like, I pulled them out, I'm like, I can't hear anything. Put, start putting them back in. Yeah, so not, obviously not the best recording, because uh, I'm not bleeding from my ears. And are you going to hear it coming from 50 miles away? Sure, for a second. Then you're never going to fucking hear anything ever again. <laughs> I mean, you can't hear the Americans coming if you can't hear. That's just science. True. So clearly, True. this aircraft is extremely dangerous to anybody that's even remotely near it, especially the pilot who's literally sitting behind 900 sonic booms per second that are trying to make him vomit, lose consciousness, and shit his pants all at the same time. And if that wasn't enough, when he finally does get that plane into the air it's gonna try to torque him into a barrel roll the entire time so obviously we're only gonna test fly it like 12 times because you know safety third get ready so they find two test <laughs> safety third uh this is the pt belt thing right a, a couple of people have told me to watch that video that one will be coming out soon apparently apparently there's like a this is like a whole basically meme within the military this fucking belt thing pilots to fly this monstrosity the first test pilot takes it up in the air brings it back down lands it it's a successful test flight i guess he gets out of the cockpit walks up to the engineer of the entire project and says and i quote you're not big enough and there's not enough of you to get me back in that flight. okay and that's coming from a test pilot that dude's already fucking nuts bear in mind the u.s air force approached him and was like hey would you like to drive a propeller driven plane past the sound barrier and he said yes and now you have this guy backing out so clearly this plane is fucking ridiculous <laughs> cue this man hank beard he is the second test pilot that did the other 11 test flights and of the 11 <laughs> test <laughs> flights he be... had to crash land at 10 fucking times this this dude is okay he is not right in the head 
They need to, like, I don't know if he's still around, but, like, when he dies, he needs to, like, donate his brain to science so they can test what the fuck was wrong with him. This dude is literally just giving the Grim Reaper blue balls as an occupation. <laughs> okay, we don't know this for sure, but legend has it the only thing that kept that plane from barrel rolling nonstop was the sheer weight of this man's nutsack. <laughs> and when he was asked what he thought about the subject after the test flights, he replied with, and I quote, What? So after 12 <laughs> test flights, they decided to cancel the entire project, not because it's too dangerous, not because it required 10 crash landings, but because the perpetual sonic booms are literally rattling the airplane apart, as well as completely completely destroying all the sensitive electronics inside the air control tower. In conclusion, at the end of all the testing, there was a verified speed of 520 miles an hour, making the Thunder Screech one of the fastest prop planes of all time. However, there was an unverified speed of 623 miles an hour, which would make it the fastest prop plane ever, and definitely the loudest. Thank you for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out. Yeah, I, I would definitely believe the uh, the unverified record just from the fact like how loud it is because like how else like that is just so everything about this is just so stupid <laughs> like the fact that they already knew how loud it was like the amount of ear protection you would need just not to fucking bleed from the ears after like two seconds of being in this thing like. Oh my god, everything about this is just so dumb. It's so, it's so great. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.